fucking bullshit. And it's oftentimes weaponized by dickheads like this that scream ago. about cancel culture, but then weaponize it against those who they uh, believe are easy to attack. And I do get very heated from time to time. And that's precisely why I'm so easy to attack in that in that regard, right? Um, but they're the same person as my friend Felix Biederman says all the time. These people are the same people, okay? Conservatives and liberals are the exact same people. They hate one another, okay? But they are literally the same. Everyone is the same person. Everyone wants to fucking become an influencer and sell t-shirts. And everyone wants to fucking cry about oppression and marginalization and move further and further away from any sort of dialectical materialist analysis any sort of structural analysis is devoid. Until they do not Hassel care Hassel about Hassel who's Hassel fucking Hassel them. Hassel 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 they do not Hassel. care about who's really fucking them. All they want to do is cry about being victimized by others on the internet. And the very same people that fucking screech off the top of their lungs and try to relitigate Gamergate era politics, the neck bearded, pasty fucking weirdos on the internet that do that. Okay, that wish we could go back to the Gamergate era of politics. Those very same people do the exact same hysterical uh, screeching that they Let's made fun of and made content passing. around. Okay. In many instances, they're just as ugly, if not way uglier, and have worse politics. Anyway, I keep fucking forgetting that I'm, uh, I, I'm live and that I should tweet that I'm live. I have learned from my mistakes and believe the white race needs to be defended. Thank you, Twitch. I'm going to add them too. Yeah. Let's go. That's what they want. They want me to fucking defend the white race, dude. That's what I'm doing, baby. Let's go. Right? How are you going to do that? That's the point, guys. That's the fucking point. You can't fucking do that without being a Nazi. It's the Nazis that are the ones who are saying shit like that. Because the only way to defend the white race is by stopping miscegenation from happening. You know what I mean? A thing that the white identitarians who fucking cried about all of those types of things back in the 60s were vehemently against. And still, some of them who would openly fucking admit shit like this will say it out loud by saying white genocide is real because black people and white people are fucking. Mexican people and, and you know brown people and white people are fucking. Okay, and that's why we need to stop immigration. That's what they say. That is how you stop white genocide. That's how you defend the white race. Because it's a made up fucking concept built around purity. That's the point. And that's been the fucking point. This is not real. It's not real. It doesn't come from a real place of marginalization. Anyway, let's fucking sit down. I'm gonna cry. There's a new JCS today too. There's so much to talk about. Fuck. The new JC is going to trigger a lot of saltines. I don't even... If white people don't feel like they're treated right in the U.S., they should go back to their own country. That's a good one. Um, Fucking yes, man. So... Why do you look like you're wearing Christmas wrapping? It's on purpose. I will make sure that I never, uh, you know, uh, offend the whites ever again. Thank you for your comments white on the path. Are a what is this? Our favorite refrigerator size Pennsylvania man is killing it. Oh my fucking Lord. What is this, dude? John Fetterman, baby. Newish PA Senate poll conducted by GBAO. 
paid for by Fetterman fines. Fetterman had 42 points. That's crazy. Well, I mean, he paid for it, so who knows, but... Guarantee the post lift grifter freaks who first heard about you heard about you this morning think you're doing an actual right wing reactionary grift now. PR nightmare. Oh my god. No, they would love that because they themselves are fucking reactionary uh, weirdos. So they actually love reference? they love being like I'm a leftist and my materialist analysis is that the conservative party is truly the party on the. This dude literally doubled down on defending racial slurs, calls Papela D racist for defending the N-word, and he did it. The this is coming is from a Hasanabi head. Bro, did you hit your head? Following since 2021, 0416. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Anyway. I'm not I should I should stay away from uh that was the He's first one of voice. the That was the first one of the day. The dude you're defending literally the dude you're defending literally said the n-word while fucking talking about how people shouldn't say cracker like straight up i keep forgetting to fucking send this tweet god damn it Unbanned, let's go, 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 unbanned, let's go. I still, how do I fucking keep forgetting to tweet that I'm live? It's crazy to me. Okay. Here it is. Let's hope for a really cracking stream. Best hill to die on? It's not even a fucking hill to die on. I've uh, 43 minutes in and I forgot. Uh, will I watch the Kamala Charlemagne interview? Will I watch it? Yes. Listen, I probably should not have started off by being like, I'm a defender of the white race and stuff and like memeing about this because I'm going to be shitting on the Democratic Party a lot today. Okay. Obviously, this has nothing to do with my newly adopted political positioning as a defender of the white race, obviously, or as a white man myself. Even though Twitch doesn't believe me to be of the Caucasian variety enough, uh, clearly. Otherwise, why the fuck would they do that? It's like banning... It's literally like banning a black Twitch streamer for saying the N-word. Uh, that would be ridiculous. Just like me saying, as a white man, the word cracker should not be a bannable offense. But Twitch was like, know your fucking place, you Muslim piece of shit. I guess. I suspect that was what was going on at the Twitch headquarters on the banning side on the moderation team which was like you know you do not have the c word pass sir you are not white enough your name is hassan which is fine i mean a lot of people don't feel that way about me so uh, good to see that the moderation team of the platform that i uh make a fuckload of money for and also uh, have been working on and rely on for my livelihood also feels the same way or at least those who are there to protect uh and and uh you know, make sure the community feels safe. Those were the same people that were like, no, this is this is a good this is a good action that we're taking. All you motherfuckers needed to do was unban the chatters for uh for chatting, for typing cracker in the chat. We are but no. Chat. Funniest part of that process is that like they literally did that for Nick's uh, mods. They did that. Nick's moderators got unbanned. If that happened, there would be no controversy. There wouldn't have been a fuckload of articles written about how it's fucking stupid it is that, you know, Twitch engaged in uh, this action. Shameless. People wouldn't be laughing about it. Anyway. How many times has he reported this stream, do we think? Dude, that's the saddest part, is that, like, the number one thing motherfuckers love doing other than uh yeah brigading and and fucking trying to get a word in edgewise in this chat is constantly and consistently fucking uh constantly and consistently fucking using like the liberal no anti-hate speech no laws no against LSF uh anyone that they declare to be uh a, a ideological opponent 
Like, they just fucking geo-lock your VODs immediately. They fuck over all these other, like, German people that may want to watch the VOD or whatever. So, let's get to the fucking memes first, and then we'll get to the news, okay? There's some memes, obviously. It's been a long-ass time. Show chat your appearance on Team Heidecker. Office hours live. Oh, yeah. Dude, in my, in my adventures, this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, and obviously, I have a lot of personal news. You know, I did the fucking Ludwig, uh, Ludwig stream with Amaranth and Will and everybody else and Ali, and that was fucking dope. And then I did the uh, H3H3 uh, leftover stream on Thursday where we just like sat in Saltine, which was the worst fucking thing. I did Sam Cedar's um, show and it was dope. And then I got hit up by Vic Berger. Okay. Also here, pump this tweet out. Let the let the world know my new position. Let's okay. Vic Berger, uh, friend of the show, Vic, uh, whose videos we watch regularly. Okay. So, let's go. Vic hit me up and said. We've, you've definitely seen his edits before of Donald Trump, if not the Vice video edits that we've watched on the stream. So, Vic Berger, uh, or not Vic Berger, Tim Heidecker sends me a DM sa saying, Hey, I have a show called Office Hours. It's in front of a live audience. Would you like to attend? We need someone to translate. Okay. We need someone to translate. There's a Turkish person that we're going to have on the show. And we need someone to come in and translate uh, for that Turkish person. And it'll be fun if it's you. We have other translators. I was like, I'm not a professional translator. If you need something like that's in real time, I'm not going to be the right guy to do this. And But I can translate, you know, in a shitty way. What's cracking, chat? So uh, they asked me to be on their live show. The live show called Office Hours. What is the exact timestamp? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, is this it? Oh, yeah, this is it. We've and I told the story stuff. of how this came about, how we got to this point. Okay. Tim Heidecker was doing office hours at the Regency or at the region or whatever. That person in the audience screeching for you. How did you guys see that? Chat, show chat how not awkward you were on stage. Funny Vic style clip. I thought it was either translate Turkish. I know who you are, but I'm saying for the audience, some people aren't as educated. Dave Weigel's here. Pepe Lassi. Dave Weigel's here. Dave, do you know who this guy is? Huh? What's up, Dave? No, you're here to apologize no, to me. No. One of the great white guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> My kids are so stupid. They have these, these elves on the shelves, you know? Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. every morning they're fooled, like dimwits, about these things. That these, these, these elves are somehow sneaking into our house and showing up in different places. And then as soon as they leave the room, they disappear and say, hello, what do you think's happening? Uh, you're a pure idiot. Do you put that on the shelf where they can't reach it? They're all over the place. I, it's... How many elves do you have around that place? There's one for each kid. Do you know elves? about that? Okay, this is, a, this is an awkward edit, but it was very awkward. So I am standing. The goal is what we were supposed to do here when I was on there. We're the, what we were supposed to do is like I was supposed to walk up uh, and on stage when they're like, we need someone to translate. Who can translate? And I was supposed to be on the fucking crowd being like, me. And instead, because I didn't want to go into the fucking crowd, because I was like, uh, one, I didn't want to ruin the surprise. And two, I uh, did not want is, to get COVID. <laughs> okay. Because holy shit, I'm like terrified. But also, I didn't know if fucking Tim Heidecker knew me or not, even though he DM'd me. But I thought it was like someone else who would DM me. So basically, this is what happened. Okay. So what do you want for Christmas, kid? Well, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. I want. Quick, quick. 
Mazovians in? Yes, I am all. I'm a. I'm in favor of. Uh, I did Mazovian socioeconomics. Yes. Let's go. Uh, on Disco Elysium, dude. I. I've my Disco Elysium rotted my brain. Okay. Every time I have a conversation with people, I feel like I have a dice check. When I ask a question to a random person, and I feel like I'm unlocking new conversation talking points. Like My as though I'm doing a fucking uh, a dice, uh, like a dice check that succeeded. I'm not even kidding. It like permanently rotted my brain, I think, because it's like Disco Elysium is literally like a fucking novel. Okay. It's like an audio book. That's all I did for like, I mean, I did like 40 fucking hours. Back, Arjan. Hope you enjoyed Disco Elysium. Yeah. Oh, this is another thing. We were planning to record a Christmas special this week and air it next week, but since the Grinch was working overtime this year, we found out today that we have a COVID outbreak in our Eddie Fresh offices, which contaminated our studio, so we can't film until next year. Everyone is fine. Don't worry. Just being safe, so we'll have a banger. Yeah, he, he DM'd me already. He just DM'd me when I went live. He was like, hey, by the way, people got fucking COVID uh, at the studio, which is fine. So my ADHD is going fucking crazy right now. Let's finish this. What should we do, man? Hey, K-Boy will probably be like Cole. Because he's in the case. Matt, what should we do? Bogies. Well, yeah. Amir. Amir. Hey, you know what? By the way, Vic, you didn't do your signature catchphrase. Right. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, ho, no, ho, go everybody. Higher, higher. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, ho, Devin. ho, everybody. Hello, David. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What do you think we should do, Matt? Vic, do you want to continue your story? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so is, uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's pull anyway, I'm just going to fucking skip through this because it's like kind of boring. I just want to show you how awkward it was, though. I mean, it's not boring. It's like fun if you were there. But I mean, like, if you're unaware of what's going on, you're like, what the fuck is happening? Why is he showing this? Like I said, this is their, their, this is their office hours uh, live show. It's in front of a live audience. And they, uh, Vic, here's Vic. He, Tim and Vic asked me to be on their show. But they did it in a really fucking weird That's way. Hard. And the reason why they wanted me to do this, the reason why they wanted me to come on the show, and they have a lot of guests that come on the show, the reason why they wanted me to do this is because there is a Turkish hacker that hacked into Vic Berger's social media accounts, all of them, okay? Every single one of them. And Vic started talking to him. He's a Turkish hacker. Vic started talking to him. And he wanted, he wanted to, like, potentially hire the guy. Let's pull it up. So, so, so anyway, so like, the plan was to have Americon on here. Is he, is he, there's no chance to get him. Like, can well, we see him? Let's just see him. Let's see him. Like, he can wave to us. I'm Let's asking see. him to start. Okay. Video. So oh, we have. Yeah. So the thing, I think the main thing is there's a there's a language barrier, and like I haven't quite been able to talk to him, so it's been a lot of sign language. No, I don't speak Turk. Turk, yeah, Turkish. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so like it hasn't quite worked. And, and it's like we do like a te text thing. I like go on the, the, the translate thing. Back. Yeah, and he's in, he's in Turkey. Um, but, uh, you know, so like I don't know if there's is anybody out there like if we can get him on the on the line here. Is there are there any translators out there that like does anybody know Turkish? Anybody should I should have I should have planned for this like before coming out here. For real? Somebody does? Anybody? Oh, wait. Well, there's, oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. That, don't, the guy just don't walk wait, wait, up on stage. Jesus. the fuck? Is this guy, security, <laughs> This security. is not a put on at all, is wait, it, wait a, wait a minute. Is oh, this is, a, wait, this is, is that, an actual guy. Is that Hassan? Bro, the way he was looking at me was like, the way Tim Heidegger was looking at me here, I was like, oh, no. He has no fucking idea who I am. Like, I really shouldn't have just wandered on stage. Like, my, my entire soul was in my asshole at that moment. It, like, I puckered up my entire being straight into my fucking asshole, okay? It was like... Hassan Piker over there. Is that Hassan Piker? Oh my God, Wait, it is. what? Wow. It's Hassan. You're Hassan, you're Hassan Piker? Are you, can you, can you get on the microphone? Do you speak Turkish? I guess. Whoa, somebody knows wow. who that is. The man is back, Bob. Yeah. He's a big um, deal, Tim. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Listen, I don't know who anybody is. Okay? No one fainted so when, know, when we walked out. He looked at me like I was about to attack him. Yeah, he was a little scary, man. I'm sorry. Well, thanks for coming down and helping us out here. Some yeah. girl just fainted. Yeah. What are you, some kind of, what are you, in, in sync? In sync? No. <laughs> what are you in uh, I wish. Who is it? Can you describe who this guy is? Could, can she come up here no, and talk? I know who you are, but I'm saying for the some people aren't as educated. Dave Weigel's here. Dave Weigel's here. Dave, do you know who this guy is? 
Oh. Huh? What's up, Dave? The what? Youth. Get him a mic. Friend of the show, Dave the Weigel, was there. The Next fucking oh, dude, I'm getting like embarrassed, secondhand embarrassment again. Tim is one of the greatest comedic actors of all time. Dude never breaks character. Yeah, I know. And it, it you fucking fuck me up. Famous with the youth. I'm a, I'm a political commentator political, on Twitch. Yeah. And you're yeah. in a bit of trouble right now? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I forgot. Why, yeah. why do you, why do you, so, like, tell us why you hate white people. <laughs> What's that about? I thought it was here to translate Turkish, which <laughs> I told you I... No, you're here to apologize <laughs> to no, me. No. One of the great white guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, word man is back. I'm sorry, I said I gotta be one of the great white guys, though, right? You gotta say, I'm up there. I'm a pretty good white guy. Yeah, I love it. Round of applause for the whites. <laughs> George Washington. For once. George Washington. Yeah. No. They really had a I'm tough go at it for, for the white past guy. Five hundred years. Let's go. At least. Um, so, can I tell my part of the story? Yeah. yeah. Which is, I'm not a comedian. I'm not very funny at all. But so, Vic, all of his accounts are hacked, right? Like everything, he's <laughs> off the internet completely. I think so. Your assistant or someone that works on your social media team reaches out to me Wait, from your account. Shut, you people think I have a social media team? I have me. It's just me. It's I sit on and Do I take speak? several shits a day, <laughs> and I communicate via Twitter. To you. Okay, well, whoever it was, they were speaking in the third person. <laughs> Wait, no, that's American. I oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's here. Let's get him on this. Get him up there. American. Let's hear for American. There he is. There he is. His name is Emil John. Okay. American. I like that name, American. Now, uh, can you ask him to hold one moment? Kill the lights, please. Kill the house. Is that what you're saying? Kill the house. Lights. Can, can he see us too or no? Yeah. He can definitely hear, he can hear you. Okay, so... Ask him to hold for a second. What, Thank you. Thank what's you. his name? American. American. Oh, Emir Jean. Do you want to be an American idiot? <laughs> Emir Jean. Yes. Don't kill all the lights. Okay. Whoa. Not our lights. Am I dying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, pause. Tell so this the is Emir Jean. So somebody contacts you from my social media team. Yeah, so, Emir Jean, bir dakika, şimdi bir hikaye anlatacağız. Ondan sonra seninle konuşalım, tamam mı? Um, so someone um, contacts me from your social media, Tim. I think it was your podcast. I don't know. And uh, they were like, "Hey, we need a translator for Turkish." And I was like, "That's cool. I mean, I can. I, I guess I could do that. Uh, you know, I speak Turkish fluently." Um, yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, you know, let's link up." So we, I got on an email chain with who no, I. I'm going to correct you because I have it here, <laughs> and I, I wrote to you personally. Oh, that was you. Yeah. And I say, I know it's a little confusing. That's what drives me nuts about millennials. I say, <laughs> this can I have really permission funny. to read this? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I was going to. I say, hello. I was wondering if you would help us out with something for our big office hour show that we're doing in L.A. this Thursday night. Basically, we need, to, oh, this is a typo, we need to Turkish translator. And Vic, <laughs> and Vic thought it would be an amazing, oh boy, this is a bit, I was... Uh, <laughs> It would be an amazing to get to have you come out. Oops. You need a translator. Yeah. Oh my God. If, sorry. So, if Do you see up, why? I thought yeah, it was like your assistant. I know I get it, but no. It's like, it says, if you're up for it and available, let me know and I can get you more details. And this asshole writes, L-M-A-O. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> and so I'm pissed because I'm like, fuck you, man. Like... I just I'm fucking, asking, I just replied, LaMau, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> asking you something pretty straight here. Maybe not so straight now that I'm reading it, but don't just say LMAO and then not write anything else. <laughs> that's the worst spot. He didn't write anything I, else. So I, I, I go, I'm going to play a little trick. I'm just going to assume that LMAO means yes. So I say, okay, great, thank. Oh, shit. I say, okay, great, thank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, thank. <laughs> let, me, let me know yeah, how our producer can get in touch. Uh, and then he says, um, uh, uh, I, don't, I can do it, sure. I just don't understand what you guys want me to do, though, <laughs> which I under, understand. 
And so now I'm like the middleman of this. I'm like, Vic, can you just? It's just like, yeah. And then Vic's like, well, I can't because I got blocked I got, on Twitter, I got, so I can't communicate <laughs> with anybody. I got, I got, yeah, I got locked out of my account. And so I felt like, can you just give? Can I? Nobody emails. It's all through DMs and shit. So it's like, yeah. Can then, you just email each other. But then you you gave me his email and I emailed him this, this email long email. Is, okay, and what is? Just, no. And what 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 was my what was your first reply? Okay, first of all, I don't even remember what I replied to you as, but my mindset at that point is like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Like, yeah, like, you is see the Tim hacker Heidecker word. Also, fucking hacked. Like, what what is happening right now? <laughs> it does sound like I was hacked <laughs> by America. And they sent me this email. I swear to God. Okay, I'm gonna fucking read it. All right, listen. They sent me this email chain, and it's like it's got like Gmail accounts on it. Oh, I'm man. like, it, it, it looks like a like a hacked email list, yeah. okay? And basically, what they did was like, hey, you know, we want you to train. Yeah, Tim Tim Robinson was there too. I met him, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second too. I fucking fangirled so hard. I was supposed to be like, I, I was supposed to keep it cool, okay? I was supposed to keep it cool when I fucking met him. Is like we're both backstage, you know what I mean? We're like going in and out of the green room, like we're peers, right? Haha, <laughs> like I've totally watched all of your Netflix shows, or uh, uh, Tim Robinson, yeah. And and basically, I was just like, yeah, whatever, uh, cool. The entire <sighs> okay, let's finish this and then I'll get to that story. Hold on, late, da, da, da. and I'm like, listen, if you're hacked. Like, how am I supposed to know that this isn't, like, a hacked yeah, email? it's a double switch. So that's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, this, this motherfucker's trying to get to me, too. Emirjan, you son of a bitch. I see you. <laughs> all right, so let's... So Americon, you did you get me... all that? Does that you, make sense? Can you, yeah, can you sum it up for him, like, real quick, like, to him? Basically, you guys sent me an email with, like, the sketchiest link on it. Yeah. Okay? Because, <laughs> like, I don't know... You know how I got that link? Oh, I, I went on, like... I said Lamau yeah. back to the email yeah. that you sent. Right, right. <laughs> they sent me a long, very professional email. I said, Lamau. I said, bro, I am not clicking that link. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cold doc. Because he sent me like a weird bit.ly link. It was like, click on this. Like he's a fucking, uh, you know, one of those like bot sex worker accounts. That's like, oh, my pussy is so juicy. Please click on link. I'm in Ukraine right now. Like, give me a call. Like, it was like, that was the vibe. And I'm like, I'm not clicking on that shit, dude. What are you, crazy? I literally just, it did. I, I fucking, I, I responded back like, bro, I am not clicking on that. Okay, give me your fucking phone number and we will FaceTime and uh, discuss the details. Okay? And he just like couldn't comprehend it. Uh, or, or it's not that he couldn't comprehend it. He was just like, I mean, it, it became really funny after regardless. <laughs> And then, like, Cold. Matt and I com. thought you were, like, doing, like, a prank, a joke. Oh, he's just, you know, Matt was sure around. you wouldn't show up. But anyways, <laughs> you're here yeah. now. And then the third email said, let's communicate via phone. If that's better, like, FaceTime or something, because it seems like you're getting hacked. <laughs> Vic sent me the wrong phone number. Because <laughs> I was in the... He's, yeah. He sent me the wrong phone number. So I'm fucking texting someone, like, hey, man, what's the deal for tonight? And this dude keeps reading the text messages and not replying. In the middle of doing, we were on a, a call about the show, and like, we're like, did he hear from Hassan? Yeah, I'm like, no. And then I like emailed him, and then I, but like, very quickly just like messed up. I wasn't like looking at the number, so I apologize. So <laughs> you, it always comes down to me. Like, first, 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 now, first, damn it, can I move the He's fucking phone the on? <laughs> American is what time is it there? Yeah. What can you ask? Can you ask him yeah. what time is it? Saat de Mirjan. This part was super scuffed. We don't need to watch the rest of this. I just wanted to tell you the story because uh, it, it was really hard. It was really hard to like communicate with him because I don't know if he could fucking hear us or not. But I mean, this is like a crazy thing. So what ended up happening? Do you want to watch the whole thing? Here, we'll watch. We'll watch we the rest can't of it. Hear you. I think he's responding. Yeah. Sekiz yirmi beş. Sekiz yirmi beş. It's uh, 8.25 in the morning. 8.25 a.m.? Yeah. Okay, we got you all day then. Yeah. <laughs> you just clocked in. <laughs> all right, so, what's the point of this now? I forget. <laughs> so, so here's the, the thing is, like, in the, you know, it, like, in the spirit of Christmas, I want to make amends. I want, like, I want uh, things to, you know, we, I want to be able to move on from this. Well, you and have your translator so, just asking, you know? Yeah, could you, could you, like, yeah, I what wanna, do you want like, to tell American? The guy I'm talking to, Emirjan, is a hacker in Turkey, okay? He hacked into all of Vic's accounts. And then Vic 
who is a lovely guy, like really just a lovely fucking dude. He's, he's brilliant. He's smart. He's funny. He's a very considerate person. So in the most Vic burger way possible, he literally fucking started having a conversation with this dude and basically fucking hired him, dude. Can you like, can you tell him, can you just promise to never try to hack me again? That's the main thing. Wait, I thought you were trying to say something. No, like he's a hacker. I was, I was, but like, yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah. Uh, Lütfen yemin et bir daha Allah'a yemin et bir daha hack yapmıyorsun. <gülüyor> yemin et lan. Yemin ederim. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Turkish people know what I'm saying. I'm just like making fun of them, okay? I'm just like you son of a bitch. You better fucking swear to Allah that like you're never going to hack these Americans ever again. <gülüyor> <laughs> and he's so awkward. He's so fucking awkward. He's like, uh, uh. Hey, you mean it? You Evet, eder. Okay, he that's, says he promises. I'm about, all I right, I, I got it. All right, that's great. Now, can I, you that's, offer him something that, in return? Well, I well now because of that, I'm going to allow him to operate my website. He's going to be my so, my new social man, media manager for VictorBurger.com. Let's take a look at what he's been working on here. Check this out. Strange. Let's He's see this. American. All the way into yeah. All. This is his his yeah. his doorway into your all right. your accounts. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. <clears throat> so there it is. There's the be super hacked. Recent work and uh, can we go down a little bit? Let's see what we got here. Tim and Eric's uh, Clown Town 2015. Uh, the seventh GLP debate. There's there you go. Look at that. And there it is. Looking good, America. Okay, good. So there. So from now on, he's running my account. I gave him the password yesterday. It's looking good. Okay. It's can looking we, really can good. Can we send a message to him? I want to say thank yeah, you very I can much. Do that. And I, yeah, and, and thank you America? very much. And uh, yeah, and I'll and we'll be keep talking. Uh, we ask him what his favorite character is too. Maybe? Oh, that's yeah. What is your favorite Christmas character? Embeğendin, embeğendin Christmas karakteri hangisi diye soruyorlar. Santa Scrooge. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about either. <laughs> I literally was like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about either. Come on. Yeah, what's your favorite character in the... We, he he can know. pick between Baby Jesus Mr. Cole? and Santa. See if he's into Mr. Baby Cole. Baby Jesus does or he, Santa Claus? Does he like Mr. Cole? Deciding vote. Baby Jesus. He's the deciding God, vote. The lira is dropping every moment that you pause, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now. It's about to be like $16. <laughs> Dolar düşüyor ha. Dolar yükseliyor. Her cevap vermediğin anda. Dolar yükseliyor. He didn't like that one. That was... <laughs> that, was a, that was only the type of humor that you motherfuckers would appreciate in here. People didn't get what I was saying there. No. <laughs> only Turks okay. will well, joke live at that. Uh, What's your favorite? Yeah. Emircan, en sevdiğin karakter hangisi web sitesinde? Web sitesinde en sevdiğim karakter? Vichar abim ya. Abi sen yapmadın mı web sitesini? Ben yaptım. Evet. Don't keep anything from me. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm asking him, like, did you not make the website? Oh. He's like, yeah, he made it. All right, well, listen, can you just wish him a happy new year and we wish him all the best? And if ever, and there's always, uh, you know, we're here to help. Okay. <laughs> diyorlar ki, iyi yıllar diyorlar. Ee, i̇şte seninle ilgili en isteği, en iyi istekleri söylüyorlar. Konuşamadım, anlatamadım amına koyayım. Um, <gülüyor> i̇yi yıllar diliyorlar sana. I <gülüyor> fucked up. I fucked up on the translation too. Tamam mı? Artık hackleme bu Amerikalıları. <gülüyor> Türkiye'de geçim zor olduğu için abi. He's accessed biliyorum. all of our phones. Biliyorum. <laughs> oh, he's been hacking us the whole time. That's why he's stalling. Biliyorum, stalling. biliyorum. Especially Vic. His, he has no security. Oh my god. <gülüyor> Any message to America? Does, uh, does he America have a message, message to America? America? We have America at his, uh, <laughs> his... Who's the guy next to you? Is that the guy from Depeche Mode? <laughs> does he America have a message? Emircan. Emircan, message yok maalesef. He said, I have no message to America. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good enough. All right. We're fucking assholes. <laughs> good <Wow>. for them. <laughs> All the best. VictorBurger.com. Thank you, Marijan. All right, let's hear it for Americon. Marijan. 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 And Hassan. We are now friends. That was pathetic.
It's like the Beatles walked on stage for some of these ladies here, these guys. Dave Weigel can't believe it. That's it. That was that was uh, scuffed as fuck, and it was awkward as fuck. And I got so scared because I like literally thought that I was just being like that's what I did. I did a bunch of shit like this. Um, afterwards, the Tim ended up being a super cool and nice dude. Oh hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. No, he was. Then EK Chivit Man, these old call ID Kalman come chivit about Mark. It's a a translation is like a difficult thing. Like it, it, you can't even if you are a fluent speaker. Um, translating is already a difficult thing, and then translating in real time while you're doing it in front of a live audience where you're feeling awkward is like really fucking hard. Uh, it, and I felt really really awkward because I wanted to be funny both in Turkish and also in English. Do you know what I mean? Like that was not easy. Um. Reis Tuşan körelmiş yoksa kolay iş senin için. Yok abi Tuşan köreldiğinden değil korkuyordum. Bir hem şaka yapmak istiyorum hem aynı zamanda translate etmek istiyorum falan. Zorlandım yani o yüzden. Um, anyway. As I was saying. So Tim uh, Tim Robinson was there. Okay. When I first walked in. I saw. I see Tim Robinson. I'm like oh my god. That's fucking Tim Robinson. That's Timmy Robe. You know that's Timmy Rob. Whatever dude. We're fucking. We're, we're chill now. We're in the same. You know, cordoned off section. So we're Pierce, okay? Whether he likes it or not. Uh, so this is you going on stage. Oh, this is one of my favorite videos of all time. This is literally me walking up sta on stage. I should have fucking phased up. We got millions and millions of followers on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, here is, here is uh, Tim Robinson at the show. It has a question. Does anybody here have a question? Yeah, I got a question for you. Don't clap for him. What is it? When are you going to get back to doing the fucking good shit? You make a good point. Simple question. What are you talking Who's about? Bad? Wait, you're here. Wait, hold on. You're here. Yeah. You, you got a ticket, so you're a fan. What are you talking about? The good shit? I like was a fan. Uh-huh. Not much of a fan anymore, and I got the tickets just to do this, what I'm doing now. Yeah. All right. Well, all right, so what? You don't like <laughs> office hours. You don't like that I'm not doing what? Like I don't like office hours at all. Go back to the old shit. <laughs> this seems like a cash grab. It's not a cash grab. This is a charity <laughs> event. They were doing this for Sela, which is for, uh, we'll get it's to that later. It's a cash grab, Tim. No, it's, that's not nice. Well, so what do you like? You, you like Tim and Eric? That's your thing? Like, awesome show? Is that your... That's what you want me to be doing? I don't stuff? like Tim and Eric. Older than that. <laughs> Tim and Eric seems like a cash grab. No, it's not a cash Tom, grab. Tom goes to what the do you Tim mean? and Eric's a cash grab. Wait, 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 wait. It's wait. mainstream. It's for jocks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> right? So wait. This guy's greedy. Wait, 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 wait. You don't like office hours. You don't. You, you don't care for my music, I suppose. No. <laughs> Fun. No, no. Cash grab. What the fuck do you even like about me? Like, what is your old stuff? What? I don't... Back when you were like, "Fuck you, man." <laughs> that when you were like, "Fuck you." Is this? This is for those of you who don't know. This is a bit. Okay, this is a bit. That's fucking uh, Tim Robinson from I think you should leave. He. A lot of people are not understanding what's going on here because they see themselves in this bit. This is literally everything that you, uh, some of you gray names say about me. So you probably are like, I don't get it. Like, but that's like how actual chatters would be, which is a perfect way to, uh, it's a perfect way to fucking describe how certain people behave. Okay. Is this the other Tim from Allentown? This is, I went to like grade school with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We went to grade school together. I'm yeah. Tim from Allentown. The other Tim, Tim L. So what do you want? <laughs> Uh, what do you want me to do? Like go fucking hang around the playground? What is it? I that's when you were funniest on the playground. <laughs> that's when you were like, fuck you. Yeah. I guess, but I'm bo I've moved on from that, man. I don't know. I, I'm you not moved on to try and get the moolah, Hollywood no, money. I moved on from doing shit when I was seven years old, asshole. Asshole? That's funny. 
I like that. Right. I like That's it. like what you did back then. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for you, man. Come on, man. Look at me. <laughs> I know. I am. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. You're. Do I'm the sorry. older stuff and not this kind of stuff. All right. <laughs> Please. Please. I'll get yourself, get yourself a drink on the house, all right? I apologize. Are you, are you being serious? I can have a free drink. Yeah, yeah. Help, help yourself. All right, thanks, Tim. That was great. Certain people behave strange, especially when it's top of the hour. Oh! Oh, what the fuck is going on? That's right. Y'all forgot. Y'all thought that the fucking ad breaks were gone for seven days? It is a cash grab, baby. That's right. Dwight is right. That's fucking right. I totally forgot to run the top of the hour ad break earlier at 12. So we're going to run it right now at the top. Of, not even at the top. I fucking forgot to run ad breaks too. And if you no longer want to see those ads, baby, because they're coming back in a big way. 60 seconds of ads. You don't want to see those ads. All you need to do is subscribe, folks. That's right. There's a couple different ways you can get a gifted sub. A lot of them have been fucking flying around like Leftist Andy just gifted 10 subs. You know, thank you Leftist Andy for allowing 10 people to avoid the ad breaks. You can personally subscribe if you, can, if you can't make, if you're not lucky, then make your own luck. Subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for fucking free with a Twitch Prime. I'm certain that uh, a particular streamer by the name of Misgift probably farmed all of my Twitch primers in the chat when I was gone. But if you still have yours and you haven't used it, use it here, boys. Decoy222, Matt NLT. What the fuck? Inquisitus Prime. Holy shit. Matt NLT. Inquisitus Prime with 100 gift of subs. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Left is Andy with a 10. Thank you. Acid burns. I can't even fucking keep up. All right. It's Delver. Cordon. Next month and this day, it's going to be a fucking bedlam for my subscription numbers. Ultra PG with a 20 gifted subs. Thank you. Ali Puff. Oh, okay. Anyway, 300 and... Uh, thir wait, what? 3,360 second ad break to make up? No, 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 no. I, it doesn't matter. So that is about density, right? Fellow worker bash. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Here's the one, uh, ad break now, by the way. Um, there's a new Austin Ox. We're going to watch that. The only thing... Oh, the thing I wanted to show you guys. The thing I wanted to uh, explain to you guys. So, so Tim Robinson is there, right? He does that bit. I wasn't there for when he was doing the bit. But for those of you who don't know, I talk about him all the time. I've shown his bits on the stream a lot. Uh, he does I Think You Should Leave. It's on Netflix. It's really funny. There's a lot of bits in there. Like Whenever I make fun of like complicated patterns that I'm wearing on a shirt... I say, you know, I got this from Dan Flashes. Look at all the complicated patterns. That's a Tim Robinson bit. Some of you probably know like the, who did this? The hot dog car uh, and the hot dog uh, outfit man. Okay. That's, uh, that's Tim Robinson from I Think You Should Leave. Anyway, so basically what fucking happened is I saw him and I was like, oh, uh, 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 hi. And he doesn't know who the fuck I am, right? I think we have like mutual friends, maybe Jack Wagner. He's friends with everybody. I think he might be friends with him as well. But I was just like, uh, the, the, hi. Uh, sloppy steaks is another fucking joke uh, of his that I uh, talk about regularly. Um, so basically I was just like, oh yeah, I love your show. And I was like, please don't. In my mind, I was like, oh, don't reveal how much you love a show. Don't reveal how much you love a show. And the first fucking thing I said was, Oh, hey, uh, I love your show. It's so good. And I was like, okay, please don't reveal more information about how much you love your show. Please don't reveal more information. Just hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. No, I watch it on my stream a lot. And, you know, I love the complicated patterns. That's it. That's literally the entire conversation we had as he was walking into the fucking green room. And then we never talked again. Complicated patterns. That's literally what I was able to get out. In my mind, I was thinking like, we're going to have such a normal... And like, he, it's not like he's a mega celebrity. You know what I mean? He's like 
a normal dude for the most part. And I think we have like mutual friends as well. So it was so bad. Now I wasn't shaking, but I was basically just like, yeah, I failed the fucking dice check. I failed the fucking dice check. Zero composure, Andy. Uh, no rhetoric. They didn't fucking beef up my rhetoric points. They didn't beef up my composure points. And I fucking broke frame. Okay. It was the least Sigma behavior where basically I was just like, Dan flashes. I watch it on my stream. He has no fucking clue. Okay. In his mind, he's probably like, what the fuck is this weirdo? He was looking at me like, what the fuck is this weirdo saying right now? Um, and, and basically, uh, it was a, a disaster, a gigantic disaster. Worst part of this interaction for the rest of the fucking night. You know what was stuck in my head? The entire fucking night, dude. Like, it was like, it was like a, I was just like reliving. Uh, I was literally just reliving the, the song over and over again in my fucking mind. Just like a constant reminder that, uh, that interaction went really horrible. All you felt was pain and weakness. Yes. In that moment, I was the weakest I've ever been.